But this is life as a spiritual outsider. It's bleak. Let me just review. Without Christ, without citizenship, you know, man, yeah, it's one thing to be an American citizen. There's great privilege in being a citizen of a country. Paul knew the privilege of citizenship in Rome. And our ultimate citizenship is in heaven. But we're without that, without Christ. Without the covenants, basically without God's promises. You're without God's promises if you're, if you're a spiritual outsider. And because of it, you're without hope, and ultimately, you are without God. Now, now, this little scripture that we're in today is very much like the first portion of scripture we were in in Ephesians 1, 1 through 10. Remember, Paul laid out just how dreadful it was for us outside of Christ, and then he says, but God. Well, here we are again. It's dreadful. These, these are spiritual realities for us that, we, that we've got to understand. We're without all these things. We're spiritual outsiders. And then he says, but now. This is like the but God of the previous section. We're hopeless in and of ourselves. But God, but with God, there is now hope for all of us. No matter how far, perhaps, we have fallen, we don't need to remain without God. Let's just look at it, uh, verse uh, 13. But now, underline it on your outline, underline it in your Bible. But now, in Christ Jesus... You were once on the outside without Christ, but now you can be in Christ. You can be identified with Christ through faith in Him. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ, for He Himself is our peace. Now this is the, 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 the groundwork that's going to lead to the fact that we'll look at next week that God has broken down dividing walls between people. And we want racial reconciliation. We want peace between people. This is the ultimate way. There can be peace between Jew and Gentile now. We can be one in faith through Christ. We'll get to that next week. But for now, this is kind of for the individual. This is kind of for you. It tells us who you were. Now it tells us who you are. And through faith in Christ, the bottom line is you have peace with God now. The blood of Christ has, 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 has purchased you peace with God for all eternity. Cling to him. Believe in him. Don't put your hope in yourself. Contrary to popular notions today, I hear this all the time, I want to tell you, you are not enough. The world will tell you that you are enough. This pastor is here to tell you, that in the realm of God and in these spiritual things, you are not enough, but Jesus Christ is. And God identifies us completely with, with him. All his perfections, all his goodness, all his righteousness is ours. We have peace with God now through Christ. Another way of saying it, I can be brought near as a spiritual insider.